Hi there, what's up? This is Bina and you are watching Legend Arts. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this lovely woolen flower rakhi very easily. Rakhi is a very special occasion in India which celebrates the unity between people, which gets the people more close. People tie rakhi to each other's hands and make their relationship stronger. So, let's not waste a moment and let's begin. Here's the list of the things we need. First, we need this flower making frame to make this flower. There are 12 points in the frame. Take wool and make a slip knot and put the slip knot on one point. Now start knitting. Move to the fifth point from the starting point and then move to the sixth point from there. Then again to the fifth point and again to the sixth point. We will continue moving like this until we get desired length. Here let me tell you, I have my particular video on making woolen flower. I presented the method of making the woolen flower step by step there. I am giving the link in the description below. You can go check that out. I did total 7 rounds to get this volume. Much volume is not required for rakhi. When your knitting is done, clip the ending place so that the wool can't open and destroy the whole work. Now cut the wool leaving some. It's time to shew the flower. That's why take a different colored wool. Take that wool with the length of 3 feet and join that with the leftover wool of the flower. Now remove the clip carefully and knit the excess red wool. Now shew the white wool through the middle of each petal of the flower like this. Shewing when you are left with some wool. Now take another wool and cut a piece with the length of one and a half feet and join with the excess wool. We need to finish the white wool first. Now, shew the purple wool through the middle of two white lines like this. When 
you are done, remove the needle and then remove the flower from the frame. Tie knot between the leftover wools and cut the excess down. The flower is ready. Now you can keep it like this if you want or you can cut the petals for a different look. Cut all the petals through the middle and trim the sides if needed and our flower is done. I made flowers with different color combinations and I know they are looking very pretty. Okay, now let's move on to the next step. Cut the polythene wrapper in an approximately square shape like this which is bigger than the flower. Now fold that in half for two times and again fold it along the corner. After that cut like this. Please follow the steps. So we made this from the polythene wrapper, now we will stick that to the back of the flower. It's time to move on to the next step. Take a cardboard paper and a round thing such as coin or bottle cap like this. Trace around and cut that out. Now make two holes on it with the help of a needle like this. After that, take a thin wire and fold it in half like this, so that we get a loop in it. Now, take a thread with the length of at least 2 feet and fold that in half. Now, pass the thread through the holes of the cardboard with the help of the wire like this. You can add some beads at the end of the threads like this. Stick the whole thing at the back of the flower and leave it for drying.
rakhi is almost done. This is another rakhi I made without cutting the flower petals. This is also looking very cute. Now add a stone on the middle of the flower. Use stone as you want but it would be better if you use big stones. So my dear friends as you can see our rakhis are ready. I hope you like my idea. Hit the like button if you like this video. Comment below and let me know what you think about my videos. Share those with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Till then take care. Bye bye.